I'm your boy Vestalu. To my left, Jack and to my right, absolutely nobody. It's a lonely episode. But I want to thank you guys for showing up to episode 19. That's really confusing later. I didn't know if he was at 18 or 19. Because YouTube has not released episode 18, which this man, by the way, even though you don't like uh me giving you kudos, but he did a very great job yeah, on trying, that episode, trying, man. You, you know. So welcome to episode 19 of the Tudor World Show. Um, a lot to talk, a lot to talk about, a lot to talk about this week. Uh, we're gonna get into some uh, Mayweather hating. We're gonna get into Ariana Grande, and Pete Davidson. We're gonna get into um pillow talking and Forty and Drake and the whole father son conversation that he had with his dad, LeBron James. Um, <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna get into a lot of other things. But um, before we start, Jack, in, how was your week, man? Oh, my week was disappointing. Mm. You no, know, we were, I worked hard on episode eighteen, guys. I hope you like it when it actually comes out. Um, hopefully it comes out in its entirety, but uh, we both are under the impression that YouTube is probably going to ban it. We covered a lot of music, we played a lot of music, uh, you know, stuff like the Drake song. The, what was the Drake? Those are the two we got in dispute for. Yeah, Drake. Bebe and, and um, not Bebe, no, no, um, Stupid and Mia. Mia. Stupid and Stupid. And Mia. So, you know, we try to bring it to you. Mm. Hopefully it drops. If it if it doesn't drop soon, I mean, we'll just... We might it. just drop it without the music. Yeah. So it's going to be, it might look a little funny. So 19 might come out before 18, but, you know. Yep. We're working on it. We're working on it. But besides that, overall, the week was okay. Football, cool, cool. I did good. I won my fantasy football in the opening day of basketball. So. About time you about... win fantasy something, bro. <laughs> very, very proud of you, Jack. Um, yeah, man. So let's <laughs> yeah, um, whatever, bro. <laughs> let's yeah, get right. Whatever, let's get right into like, it. Like, um, my man Jack N over here brought up. He uh, was texting me OD about Joe Button's podcast, and um, this was coming off the whole Drake. Uh, beef with Pusha T, we have revisited it again for some reason. I, th- I could, can you say that was the biggest thing in hip hop? This, well, this uh, aside I, from the Kanye and Trump meeting, which you would see <laughs> in, in episode eighteen. Sure, episode 18 Do you so think good. that was the second biggest thing? Uh, hip hop wise, it was good. But the problem is that uh, you know Drake he bowed down too early. Um, but you know, I think Pusha kind of talked about it. We're gonna play some footage of uh, Drake. Drake was on LeBron's show on HBO, The mm. Shop. And uh, he has some things to say. Uh, let's, let's get into it. We're going to see it right here on 2 to 1 Cam. What is this? The 2 to 1 Cam? Yeah, you'll see a little bit of it. But uh, here's a preview. You know, people love to say, like, rap purists and people who just love conversation. They love to say, hey, man, there's no rules so, in this shit. Know, but there are fucking rules in this shit. Saying, and I'm going to tell you something. It's like, I knew something was going to come up about my kid. They had to add, like, the deadbeat thing yeah. to make it more appealing, which is fine. And I, I so you're talking that. about and pretty I, much Even that, show. I was like, okay. Man, the mom know. and dad thing. Drake, Drake is talking about you don't even know my family. He's upset about what like happened, but he said he got the information from Kanye. Wishing death. And, um, on my friend that has the MS, MS stuff, he believed that Kanye I study rap battles for a to push a tea. Did now, push when you mentioned was defenseless death. people who were sick no, and he the hospital that passed away, he that spoke really about his guy. He, he didn't necessarily wish death. You know, no, he kind of, I think he did say he yeah, believed did. then and believed now that there's just a price that you have to pay for that. It's just, it's over. You're going to get... Someone's gonna fuck with you. I got a question for you because we have, I have, I have. The yeah, shit's we gonna revisit that real quick. Nah, I got a question before I lose my thought. Because I'm here, I was hearing this conversation, and we over here talking about the state of hip hop, right? Uh huh. Is this your king of hip hop? Yeah. Is this bitch ass nigga hip hop? You know, SP was on 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 the radio station with Davies. Uh, actually, they got an album called Beloved. It's dope. We didn't get to preview it here. Mm. It's already too old to talk about. It. But if you guys can get it, Beloved. Actually stands, David, I think in Hebrew it stands for Beloved. Check it out. Dope ass album. Dope ass album. But they want the radio and Styles P said. And straight up punched Drake in the face when he seen him. Because mm-hmm. that's a violation. Like, mm-hmm. And then once you bring somebody's family, you don't know how Pusha T. He about to get that. married. You yeah, don't know how his wife yeah. failed. You threw her in the battle. Yeah. And then you asking him to follow a guideline. Mm-hmm. That's, out of the, that's off the question. Then something else you're asking him to do is not follow tradition. Mm-hmm. Pusha T is not a new rapper. He's been around for a while. There's no rules in this. He's heard, he's heard, he's heard it all when he's heard beef. He's heard it all. And the Drake, like, you're the biggest guy in the game. Like, just chill. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. And then, like, it shouldn't have been a battle. And this is where, this is the only, I don't, I don't have, I like Drake's music. I really like, I think he's a star. I just put him up there with Kanye, Puff, and as a star. But I think we are beginning to forget a lot of rules in this culture do the stars and we just start switching them around and making them different like I really I don't got nothing against Drake right but 
How does a guy say what's the rules in a rap battle that had a, a ghostwriter before? You know, he probably, if, if he didn't like what Pusha T said, then he probably shouldn't have engaged in war. Because when you at battle with somebody, mm-hmm. there's no rules. There isn't. So if I, and then if you can, let's say you, you won't take it somewhere, but I'm going to take it somewhere. That's, that, that's me. Mm-hmm. You got to accept it. And the fact that he's talking about he didn't get punched in his face for wishing death on his friend. Yo, this guy brought up Pusha T's fiance, my yeah, yeah, yeah. And even though it wasn't, not, you still said her name. And, and like Styles P, I agree with what he said. He don't know what that woman said to him uh-huh. behind closed doors. I know my crazy ass girl. So you gonna let him disrespect me like that? And and I don't know about you, uh, but I, you know, so that put him in a bad situation. But it's not that he's the king of hip hop. He might be the king of all music right now. Um, but when it comes to hip hop, there's certain standards uh-huh. that everybody has went through. All the greats, mm. Jay Z. Probably the greatest of all time went through it with now. You know what I'm saying? Like other people have have engaged. So I don't agree with that. But in saying that, the gist of that interview, pretty much you see he addresses Pusha T. He says why he didn't battle back because he didn't want to get dirty with him. How do you feel about that? Listen, I just I'm gonna get back to that though. But what made me upset about this whole interview was the fact that Drake was more upset that Pusha T spoke about his best friend, <laughs> and it didn't even really bother him that he spoke about his son. Yo, yo, like that. yo, like the whole interview would have been like, yo, he spoke about my son, LeBron. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he was like more upset about forty. So, I mean, it just goes to show that really was what was he really upset about? Was he upset I, about Adi Don or was he upset about forty? I don't know about what my bad, but you know, it is what it is with his, with his son. You know, I would have been upset too, but I just I feel like. I felt like it was a cop out, man. And then hearing this interview further let me know it was a cop out. Mm. You know? And, and and I think we should probably just get into it. Push T responds on the Joe Button podcast that has not been released yet. I think they have an interview with him. Mm. Uh and they had a preview of it on YouTube. Let's just get into it. Let's see what he says. He and this is to address I'm sorry, so let me digress a little bit. Mm. Or let me revert back. Um Drake said that he believes that Kanye was the one that gave away the information to yep. To push a T. And he says that because Kanye told him, I think, to come to what, what, Wyoming or something like that. Mm-hmm. And they were recording, and he started talking to him about the kid because he was going through it. He was showing him pictures. Yeah. But push a T says, you know, like, that's not what happened. So mm-hmm. let's just give a quick preview. Yeah, yeah. What push it says. And this will lead into the next segue into what we're talking about. He's sleeping with a woman who begins to, you know, you know, he talks to her was. every, he talks yeah, to her daily, okay. yeah. five, okay. six hours a day. Oh, she must have a great personality. Yeah, bro. Come on. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Listen, talks to a woman five, six hours a day, uh, provides opportunity <laughs> for. Provides opportunity. I ain't even told you my girl five, six guy. hours a day. And, I love and, and, <laughs> and I you know, ultimately speaks <laughs> about how he's disgruntled about certain things. But you see this when uh, you say notor- the same. Uh, uh, notoriety and, wow. and things involving involving Drake and, and his career, so on and so forth. To this young lady? Yes. Okay. With that, With that also came the fact that Drake has a child. With that also came the... the, the uh, the trip that everybody took to go see the child and bring them gifts and all you know, all of this information. See, so you know that's she true. divulged this information. Straight out of baby shop. That's where it came <laughs> from. Now, the sounds of it. I never told nobody that. I never said that to anybody. All right. So I guess then that what he's trying to say is. What was the question you asked me though? I forgot. You asked me a question before and I and I skipped to be to to Drake being mad, more mad about forty than. You, you know, I, yeah, I consume I, a lot of it, cannabinoids. It, it's all right. I don't, I don't remember. It's, okay. I guess it wasn't important. I think, uh, no, no, I think I, I, I was alluding to the question I'm probably going to ask you now. So Drake says that Kanye was the one that told him. Obviously, Push is saying that it was 40's girl or side chick or somebody he's sleeping with mm-hmm. who told him mm-hmm. the information. I don't see why Pusha would lie. Yeah, I don't think so. I think I, it seems like he's been pretty much honest about this whole situation. Yeah, so that pretty much eliminates Drake's whole conversation or whole argument about Kanye. Now he doesn't trust Kanye, uh, and then but the thing is that what made Kanye look guilty is he apologized. If I didn't do anything, I would apologize. That's true. So I I don't I I don't know what it, I I believe Pusha because I don't think he would lie. But at the same time, Kanye apologizing. I, I think Pusha's been on the whole fucking I don't give a fuck thing about this whole thing anyway. Like, I don't think even if even if Kanye would have told him and he'd have been like, um, yo, but don't 
tell Drake I told you. I think Pusha still would have been like. Yeah, plus. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then also the um the whole fact of the matter is, you know, like what he said, he's getting W's right now. Later on in the interview, uh, if you go to our page on our IGTV, uh, of course, the, our IG is on the bottom right here. Um, we actually posted the majority of the interview. It was like eight minutes long. And he says he feels like he got nothing but W's. The mm. fact that Jay Prince had to get involved was a W. Yeah. The fact that you keep going after Kanye is a W. The fact that you didn't respond is a W. And it makes sense. This is hip hop. We're in war. So, you know, he should probably respond to a show, but I guess he never will. But, I mean, you got me, what do you think about it? I want to go back. Go back. I just want to ask you one thing. Do you think there is rules in hip hop when it goes to battle? Absolutely, is this, I don't think there is. When you do, uh, 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 there never has been. So I don't know where yeah, Drake has broken. When you do a structured battle, like we're battle rappers, mm-hmm. then we can set the guidelines prior. Mm-hmm. Like this is the amount of time. This is one thing that I'm not gonna tolerate. I'm talking mm-hmm. about my mom. I'm talking about my kid. Like that, I, I've seen that happen before. Like there's a famous rapper named Goods. Mm. Um, he's a famous battle rapper. He always says, "Don't say anything about my daughter," and that's that's like his prerequisite before every. Battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause he says he will never let anyone, any man, ever disrespect his daughter, which is dope. I mean, sure. I, I yeah, do one hundred percent. And even he ended up punching somebody in the face recently. Because I'd have been the one that got punched in the face. Yeah. Cause if I'd have been yeah. losing, be like your yeah. daughter's a smut. Yeah, <laughs> 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 oh, I <what>? Default. <laughs> just end up punching somebody in the yeah. face because of that. But anyway, so I think in that in, in that arena, mm. then yeah. But when you're talking about hip-hop in general, yeah, yeah. don't engage, don't start. I don't recall any, like, I mean, I could, the one, first one that pops in my head was some um, fucking, when this guy fucked, uh, oh, man. when fucking Tupac uh, talked about fucking Faith, which, now I actually believe that that happened, but that's a whole nother episode. But, um, yeah, man, I don't think there's no, I mean, I just, I, I, that, that whole interview with, with LeBron James, yeah, right? but he, that shit was cringy, yeah, bro. But, uh, I, I mean, I like the show. The show, what the fuck, man? Stop calling me. Mm. Sorry, guys. Uh, I, li- I like the show, but I think he was, you know, I, all right, how can I say it? I feel like he's so far up, mm. and he has so much, he's so up there that he feels like he doesn't have to get dirty with these other people. Mm. It's a fucking insult to hip-hop, period. And the fact that you're speaking to, to LeBron, and LeBron is at the top of all sports as well, and you're having a conversation. Yeah, clearly you're the best in, in our genre. You, you represent our genre. You're the top guy. There's nobody better than him right now. Who? And I, Drake? Yeah. Oh, not not Jay Z, uh, not Eminem. Drake is number one. Oh, yeah, yeah. So okay. the fact that you're saying that, I, I, I didn't like that. I didn't appreciate that. And just to get back to, to answer your question, man, I don't know there's no rules, man. Like, fuck your bitch in it with Tupac. And yeah, then, yeah, yeah. And then Jay Z has said, I left condoms on your baby seat. Like, <laughs> yo, <laughs> talk about not talking about my Jaru, kids. Jaru, Jaru, M, you claim yeah. your mom's a crackhead, and Kim was a known slut. So what's Kaylee gonna, gonna do with you, bro? That's definitely no, and, and we don't want to get to 50 in the disrespect he said. Yeah. So, I, I, you know, Drake is, and the thing is that Drake is so high up, and people that are, are younger than us, even you, you, even you people younger than you, Drake is gonna set the trend now. So if he's doing this trend setting thing and he's, Making rules, then the kids and everybody who's listening to him are gonna be like, oh, you know what? They crossed the line, which is gonna water down rap, and everything is yeah, watered yeah. down now. Fucking like basketball, football, uh, uh, the yep. shit that we loved mm-hmm. for its raw and intensity, intensity, mm. intensity, it's fucking watered down because of the, the youth and everybody that wants to see this bullshit. Oh, Sunday, exactly. I, I just remember this. I didn't put this on the agenda, but I did want that. I wanted to bring. Go, 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 go. I wanted to bring this up because it has something to do with rap. Okay. It's just speaking about the dead. Obviously, I'm talking about Vic Men- Vic, uh, Vic Mensa. Oh, man. What before, we about- that, before we get to that, before we get to that, 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 that I, I got Let some Let me write that down so we yeah. don't forget about that. Yeah, the Vic, the Vic uh-huh. and that shit. Before we get to the hip hop thing, I just wanted to ask. Because that goes back to rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so you know, let, let, let's engage in that and then I'll I, I, I uh-huh. remember. So, why don't you tell the people what happened? I'll make a long, a long story short, man. You know, if you guys know in the BET Awards, um, they uh, do ciphers, uh-huh. and in the cipher, in the cipher, um, Vic Mensa, which he did not deny, um, says something about um, the lyrics actually came out. I can't tell you the lyrics exactly. I can get the uh, we, we'll get the lyrics yeah. for you exactly, uh-huh. but I know it was in the ball field of him saying that we idolized a domestic violence abuser, and um, it pretty much was referring to X. He didn't necessarily. No, 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 no. no, no. He said his name, bro. He did say X. I'll name. tell you, I'll tell you exactly word for word what he said. They had it. They had it up here. If I could find it, then I will tell you. But I saw it. Uh, all right, here it goes. Uh, your favorite rapper. Your favorite rapper is a domestic abuser. Name a single Vic Mensa song. 
XXX, we all, we all know you won't live that long. I don't respect niggas posthumously. Homicide ain't new to me. Catch up with academics at your eulogy. So your favorite rapper's a domestic abuser. Hey, name a single Vic Mensa song. We all know you won't live that long. I don't respect posthumously. Homicide ain't new to me. Catch up with academics at your eulogy. What could you do? So, I sound like he was going at six, though. No, 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 he said X. He, said, he just said chicken. No, no, I see he was saying X, but... This said the, the shit. It was um six nine that was saying if you remember in the um in the Angie Martinez interview, he was the one that was like um I don't know song I don't know no Vic Mensa song. Remember that he yeah, had brought it and everything. But not everybody wants to go at your man, bro. No, 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 no I'm just saying. He's I'm like, just saying he's hot right now. I don't too. think X ever went at Vic Mensa. Nah, but I think but yeah no him and X were beefing since before. Really? Yeah. yeah oh, okay, that's no, that's no. This is before okay. they've been okay. beefing for years okay. for a while now. Uh, now he came out and he said, we'll post like a little video here, you won't hear the words or anything like that, but he said, he like came up with a bullshit ass apology to his mother that was in the front, and then he said, uh, something to like, you know, but I don't talk, I don't condone domestic violence, and I don't care if he's dead or whatever, you know, blah, blah. Recently, I did a freestyle for the BT Awards Cypher, addressing and condemning rappers who unabashedly abuse women and those who stand up for them and even call them legends. I stand behind those statements. It was pre-recorded weeks ago, and I had no idea a grieving mother would be in the audience to honor her lost son. I never intended to disrespect her and to offer my deepest condolences for her loss at the hands of gun violence. However, I vehemently reject the trend in hip-hop of championing abusers, and I will not hold my tongue about it. I don't give a fuck about getting attention. I care about bringing awareness and holding people accountable for their actions. Now, my thing is this. You can hate somebody, but in death, either it gets forgiven or it gets forgotten. You know why? Because you can't, that person can't retaliate. Mm -hmm. So why spit on your grave if you can't retaliate? Why, why, that's what you do, you spit on the grave. Why would yeah. you say that? Mm -hmm. So was he, I don't, that's not beef right there. That's just being an asshole. The guy is dead. And he didn't die, like, accidentally. They he killed was him. He, yeah, was he was taken out this uh, world. Yeah. And if you ask me, you listen to Vic Mensa's song, you listen to X's song, Vic Mensa couldn't be on the same fucking playground as this fucking as X. I'm yet to know what a Vic Mensa song you know, And there like. you go. And and, and to be honest, I know more Vic Mensa because of the clout. Yeah, and to, be, and to be honest with you, I didn't really know. And this is sad, man. I'm, 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 I hate that I have to say this. I didn't know about X until he died either. And then I started backtracking and yeah, doing my homework. I, I, I heard a couple of songs. I was like, oh, Look at me was like the only song I knew. Yeah, I, 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 didn't, even, I don't even know the names of the songs. Mm. But I, I started going back and just listening to his stuff. And then I listened to his last album. Just drop Kid has super talent, yeah. and he sang and he played instruments. So, mm -hmm. I, I repeat the X, but what, I don't know if that's engaging in war because they didn't really go back and forth that when he was alive. But Vic Mensa always was talking about him, mm. and he was saying things about him. So, I, and I get it. But who the fuck are you to be the spokesperson for domestic violence? When you choked, he I was on the Breakfast Club talking about he choked one of his ex girls not that long ago. Where? Um, a little, little while ago, yes. Vic Mensa well, well, admitted I'm, to choking one that, of his ex. -girls. Who are you? Like, all right. We all get it. Domestic violence is, is not tolerable, but it happens. And you're saying something that we already all know is not right. Mm. So we don't need you to fucking remind us. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, we don't need you to go after somebody that's dead. So to answer your question, I don't think that was engaging in war. I mm. think that was a petty shot at somebody who couldn't defend themselves. For clout? Definitely. Hey, I think it was for clout. I said, nowadays, what is not for clout? That's true. But, that's true. I, but to get off, I know, again, RIP X, get that off that topic. Mm -hmm. this, Pillow talk. Pillow talk. Mm -hmm. So if, if to, to go back to what Pusha T was saying, I'm not even talking to Mike, I mean, hopefully they hear me. Mm -hmm. To go back to what Pusha T was saying, this guy, uh, he learned all his information from talking to this girl. Mm -hmm. So, why do guys... When is pillow talk, yeah. right? And when is pillow talk, No, but why, why, why do you... It's, it's one thing to be married and have a wife, and you know what I'm saying? And... and, and Mm. And indulge in conversations with your wife, the person that you have you with. Mm. But to indulge with a with a daddy or to indulge with somebody you're sleeping with, when is it? It's not. You know, what do you think? You think you Never just... engage in pillow talk with anybody but your wife. Yeah. I mean, we've been in relationships for quite a long time. Uh huh. Talking is. But you can't take. You, but if you're talking to somebody right and, and for a long time, I would never pillow talk about my man's though. That's just me. I mean, uh, and from the looks of it, Drake and Forty are very fucking close. Yeah, and and, and the thing that stood out to me, what, what he said was that uh, he feels not neglected. I don't know if that was the word, but he doesn't feel like he gets the notoriety that he should, because 
He only oh, produces, yeah, because he only okay. produces for Drake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he doesn't produce for anybody else. Uh-huh. Only Drake and the OVO team, uh-huh. which are all signed to Drake anyway. Uh, Pillow Talk is a motherfucker, bro. And, you know, like, why would you talk to somebody that? And the thing is that if you're with somebody and you're with them a couple months, you don't know, you don't know what's gonna happen. So yeah, it's a possibility. But if I'm just fucking sleeping with you, what gives? You know, why would uh, I? Ah, you? you know what? I gotta. There's. I've been in situations, bro. Um, obviously, not every girl I fuck is my wife. Uh-huh. You know, um. But I have been in situations where where chicks, uh, like to, to quote Joe Buttons, had a cool ass personality. She was like one of the fellas, and I was fucking her. And I could say I've engaged in some kind of pillow talk, like you know yeah. What but I mean? it, but in a situation like that, what you're telling her, she's like one of the guys. So it's like what you're telling her is probably what you would tell your man. Yeah. And, and I'm the type of person that if if I talk if I'm talking to my boy and I blow it up something about my other boy, right? Uh huh. I'm, I already know the repercussions behind that. That means if you blow it up and you go tell with this other guy and the guy come to me, uh-huh. I already knew what what, what, what was going to come with that. So obviously, I mean, I got to deal with it. I guess we regular people and being in the industry is a totally different thing. But the industry... I, I don't want to like, you know... Like, I'm like, assuming the industry, but you know, for what people say, the industry is very small. Mm. But, yeah, I, I don't know. Just, I guess... So guys, just, just... So, yeah, so, she just, so, so I, I just want to... I want to understand the question. So... Should you engage in political? And who should, should you... you <laughs> And who should, who should you engage in pillow talk with? with is there rules about you it? You usually engage in pillow talk with a bitch with some good ass pussy. <laughs> That's just real. Because if you fuck a bitch, well, it wasn't all that. Hold on, hold on. But if you're in the industry, right? Besides being in the industry, you got a couple of dollars. You're going to have multiple women. I just want to know how that conversation went. Like, all right, 40 nutted. Oh, wow, that's some good pussy. Hey, you want to know? Drake has a fucking <laughs> son. You didn't know that? Like, yeah. how did it happen? You know that. Uh, did she my bed? <laughs> my bed was not his bed. I was the middle name. You know that favorite lyric that they're all saying? <laughs> Which one? My bed. It's his son. Oh, my God. <laughs> Like, how did it happen? Yeah, like, yeah. is he a bochinchoso? Bochinchoso, trans- Google translation for that is a gossiper yeah. in Spanish. Yeah. Like, how did it happen? Like, I, I don't know. Well, I listen, man, I don't know, and I don't, I don't really partake in that. And for those of you thing. who don't know, MS is a silent disease. So I know you guys are probably thinking, oh, my God, he has a disease. Has- I got MS and my dick get hard just as good <laughs> as anybody else's fucking dick. So let me get that out the way right now. I know I literally read a lot of fucking... <laughs> By the way, MS, the name, the main symptom of MS is numbness. So if your MS attacks your dick, you on the fuck. That's a W, my nigga, because he really going to be pillow talking after that. But so yeah, shout outs to 40, man. But to, 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 <laughs> to go back to that, man. <laughs> we got fucking bombs, all kind of shit, bro. <laughs> but but nah, to go back to go back to that, man. I think 40, 40 failed on that, bro. Like you should not be talking about. And there's something as intimate as that, bro. Like, obviously, and I hope it's not true because it sounds jealousy, bro. If you talk about notoriety like that, like I don't know if it pushes exaggerating, but that shit sounds like jealousy, bro. That's true. Because if you're complaining about your notoriety, that means you're complaining about how come this guy is bigger than me and I'm the one that produces everything. Then that's fucked up, bro. So it's just all engineers that are jealous. <laughs> I know what you was waiting for, bro. I know what you. Was <laughs> 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 I know. That's what it's on. That's what it's on. That's what it's on. Just fucking get the freak. Get the fucking. <laughs> Shout out to 40, man. All right, man. What you think of overall? Should, should 40 even be partaking? Or can you blame it on good pussy? Can you blame it on Molly? Molly, <laughs> has, Molly you, has you talking a lot, Talk about Molly. Your boy, 6 9 was on. You didn't see that shit? Oh, he was slipping. And then he put on the I bottom. I was going to that. And then he put on the bottom. That, that Molly, Molly was good. Uh, I never had a Molly that had me fall like that. <laughs> I could have commented with that. I, I, I probably had a... I probably had a... I, oh, we know you fall. It wasn't on the Molly. We ain't going to put shit on here. But yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I fell in a couple times. But Cardi's yeah. not. Don't got none of your not, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Let's not get into it. Y'all was lost my eye over that shit. Not defend my man. I was lost my eye over that shit. Push it forever, not. Right. But we gotta get off of that. I don't All think. Right. Uh, let oh. me just real quick. Let me give my opinion because there's not a third person here to give an opinion. Um, oh, no, I don't not, think. Oh, 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 oh
You don't want to give us a pain? You want me to go on the other side of the mic over there? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> nah uh, I just think, I think man, I, like I said, rather with some good pussy, a molly, or jealousy. Those are the three things that I say. I want to rule out good pussy because I'm assuming that them people see pussy all the time. Yeah, I'm assuming that too. All right, so it's jealousy or or some kind of narcotic or something. <laughs> He's on like MS, he might, have, he might have a lot of pain, so he might be taking... Some kind of shit. I don't know. Nah, bro. My MS has never, not once, had me sit down with Liz and be like, yo, you know, Ricky? Um, <laughs> <laughs> not once, bro. I've been dealing with it for quite some know, time, bro. We've come from a different cloth. But in talking about that, we can, we can segue into the next topic. This Britney, what is this? Bundle of Britney chick? Bundle's br- uh, bundle, bundle of Britney. We're uh, going to call her um, Super Britney. Bundle of Super Br- Bundle. Britney, her name is... Uh, Bundles of Head. <laughs> How's that? Let's call, let's call it that. So you want to tell what happened? Or you want me to get into it? Uh, yeah. Let me let me let me uh, get so into it. Shout Brittany out to Unique Liz, eighty-seven. One of our staffers, I like calling her. Out like yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout She's out. also my wife, unfortunately. Yeah, he got a shout out. But she's um, one of the first ladies. Yeah, yeah. If I don't, you know, I won't be able to go home after this. And so I that like MS to. numb penis won't be it'll be used for nothing. So exactly, you know exactly. Yeah, no, ahead, dude, don't it. sleep on the MS numb <laughs> penis, bro. <laughs> You mix that with a little Molly, bro. You got the best night <laughs> of your life, bro. Crazy. Nah, we're pillow talking for all this, yo. <laughs> you know, Josh told me some shit. Nah, it's not hey! <laughs> Jack Ed. Nah, but um, yeah. So bundles of Britney has released. Uh, she did a. Uh, she followed in her uh, predecessor's um, footsteps, and she did a song called Judge song, a This book. Cover and Judge. It's a book. It's a book. A book. A book. Sorry, and judging by that cover. That I might have beat off to two times already. <laughs> she does look way better than Superhead, but she so names like too. a lot of people that she supposedly slept with. Pretty much, if you people are familiar with Superhead's uh, Superhead's book, Superhead story, she pretty much named that she fucked twenty thousand people. She gave them all cute little nicknames. Unique Liz was on that. Uh, if you want to know their nicknames, go to two two one underscore show and on Instagram page. Um, Colin Kaepernick, uh, Ben Simmons, the, the, mm. to, to name the few that uh, I heard of. Oh, so see but this. the one that I do want to talk about is the pimps of all pimps. My man, I don't even know why you didn't wear the jersey. Colin Kaepernick, <laughs> my man, Josh, man, please tell the audience what happened with that one. <laughs> all right, so in the book, uh, Judge the Cover, uh, this the girl on Instagram, she's Bundle of Brittany. Her name is Brittany Renner. She claims that Colin Kaepernick, uh, he would ask her to come over, but he said he didn't like that the women always use him for his money. So he would get her to pay her own flight <laughs> to come see him. And he was smashed. And afterwards, she said in her last uh, time seeing him, she wanted to know where did they stand with each other. And this man is about to get a round of applause because he hit her with, Probably one of the best lines that I've heard in recent years. He said, yeah, "It's cut before." That uh, what I want to do and what I'm gonna do are two different things. Two to one. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you need. I, I'm, I, I might. I might actually. We, we're gonna have to buy some shit without these ads, bro. Please hold on after these applause for your next craft cheese this time. Yeah. What do you think about that, man? Uh, I think he... Pimp over, p- I think pimp I, over the year? I think I'm ready to deal with him. Let's deal with Kaepernick. Let's deal with Kaepernick. Let's deal with Kaepernick. You're a G, bro. <laughs> You're a G. Yo. That's... I, I might... No, Unique Liz 87, I'm not going to use that. <laughs> you better not. I, 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 I might tell my son to use that in the future. Yo, you ever just don't, don't want to go nowhere with a chick? Don't make her feel bad? Just say. Uh, I, I, I'm, what I'm going to do and what I feel like doing are two different things. And then play a Drake song right after that. <laughs> just hold on. Come in on. Take a molly and pillow talk. <laughs> right? <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> the thing is that what I don't understand is, why don't these fucking guys just sign an NDA with these women? An NDA is a non-disclosure agreement. So, I mean, even though that shit doesn't work because I believe that's what Stormy Daniels signed with Trump and she still came out and blew it up. But still, like, you do things with these chicks. I mean, nobody's came out and complained about it. Mm. But if they do come out and complain about it, it's of your own doing. Supposedly in the book, she codenamed some people. But I think it was uh, Drake, Trey Songs, Little Uzi Vert, mm. uh, a bunch of other people. And recently she was seen with your guy 6 9 a couple months ago. So Yeah, it was... Uh, 
shooting soccer together? Yeah, like so that? I don't know. That's why I said a segue into it. How, what do you feel about uh, like uh, celebrity whores? Celebrity, I mean, it's just any other game, bro. We got celebrity whores. We got hood whores. We got Christian whores. We got we church got whores. Tranny whores. We got tranny whores. That, uh, shout out to Cassidy. Um, <laughs> we got... Um, <laughs> I hear about that on episode 20. <laughs> oh, probably on our Instagram. Uh, I mean, we got, you know, I, I just think whores are all over the place. To go back to that, to the non-disclosure agreement things, man, I think that's just in the heat of the moment of thing. Uh, heat of the moment thing. Why do they get them hoes pregnant? Because they ain't got a condom at them at the minute. Do you walk around with an NDA in your pocket? Oh, my God. Oh, I'm about to say, I think you're about to go into your whole no, no. Raw pickles? Yeah, no, but, that's oh, a whole different thing. That's a whole different thing. Matter of fact, I might make a shirt that says raw pickle. But, um. Bro, let me get it. Just... Thoughts of, of Best I Lewis. Listen, I listen. I, I wasn't the one talking about being burned 20 minutes ago. All right? <laughs> oh, that's fine. <laughs> Yo, 77 is bitch. <laughs> episode 19, son. Don't worry about it now. But, um, but um, yeah, bro, like I said, man, um, I just think um, these hoes are all over the place, bro. And then, um, especially now, it's going to get even worse because it's clout. It's clout. It's, it's the clout. It's all about the clout. Clout is the new currency. Yeah. That's my thing. Clout is the new currency, bro. So, what do you think? Should they be messing with these hoes? Uh, you know what it is? I think that these women, they cater to them. They know what... They deal with groupies all the time, right? They sleep with multiple women. Mm -hmm. But some women don't know their, their role. And I'm not trying to sound like a chauvinist asshole, but it's the truth. Sometimes they don't know their role, and they want these women that are, I guess, let's say trained, celebrity trained. Mm -hmm. And that's why they deal with them. But all overall, man... The, the book is called uh, Judge the Cover. And I mean, we want to hear more gossip about be, that bullshit. To be fair, I always, and I was young. When, I, uh, when Superhead came out and all that, yeah. Superhead was bad. Did you see her fucking than, video? What, if I sucking dick, I saw about 20 of them. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? I beat off about 21 times. That Yo, I don't way. think I'm giving you a handshake if I get, bro. Too late, bro. Beers, bro. We shake beers together, bro. <laughs> you can't get this for now, bro. You can't get this, bro. All right. I ain't doing no more. All right. All right. Nah, but, uh, but, 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 um, yeah, you, who, who looks better? If you had, oh, if you had a oh, chance fuck. to be with somebody who's going to air you out, oh, who I, would you get aired out? Uh, 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 I'm definitely with the Britney chick. The Britney chick also said... But oh, you don't know if Britney sucks a dick. Hold on, hold on, like hold on. Hold on, though. hold on. That's what I was going to get into. Oh. So Britney said that the reason that she got these guys turned out is because she was watching a porn star named Tiana Trump. I don't mm. know if you know what that is. She's bad as hell. Mm. She's watching her give hat. And she started practicing with, I believe she said Ben Simmons. Oh, yeah, and that's okay. how she got great on it. So, uh, if you watch, if you know anything about X-rated videos, uh, <laughs> look up Tiana Trump. She kind of looks like Britney too. She's bad as hell. We'll put a picture of her here so you can see her. We'll put it. We'll put I still it think the, the dick sucking Hall of Fame goes to Superhead, bro. Her name is Superhead. <laughs> what the fuck do you call that's it? That's self-proclaimed too. At the same time, bro. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Listen, so we're gonna. Um, she knows how to. Uh, uh, you know, she knows how to. How, how is it? How's the pepper? She just told you the pepper. Yeah? Just use the pepper. How else is it? <laughs> and I don't know about all of them. I'm about to get them. You're taking the fuck out of here. You're taking the fuck out of here. That's all shit. Those shots over here for that. Yo, man. So, yeah, we're going to move on. Uh, my final thoughts on her, though, bro, man. Good job. Good job, man. Get fuck it. Make your money, boo boo. Get your bread, man. Make your money, boo boo. You still look good as hell. And There's going to be still guys that are still going to want to hit yeah, you. Yeah. Still going to want to do all that nasty yeah. shit with you. So, boo boo, make your money. And, um, you know, I'm hoping to be successful in about three, four years. So, we'll do part two of the book stuff. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing, man. Um, yeah, man. So, we are going to keep it moving. That was the whole segment of the two to one. Um, yo, what, what, we, what, what we about to get into here, man? We got a couple other shit here. Let me go into my, um, my notepad here. Ariana. Oh, Pete wow. Davidson and that whole uh, uh, fucked up thing. As you guys know, uh, Mac Miller... Who had passed away? We covered that maybe two, three episodes ago. Unfortunately, he lost his battle to addiction. Um, turns out today that um, a lot of stuff. <laughs> oh oh fuck! I try to get serious, <laughs> and, and he Pete, starts laughing. And Pete Davis lost his battle to relationships. <laughs> Yo, did he, bro? So did she, he? So it's officially off. So Pete Davidson and Ariana Grande are off. Their engagement is off. And it has to do with. 
Rumors is. Rumors has to do with Mac. She hasn't gotten over Mac, and that's why she broke up. But uh, so what? Was a lot more though. Was this a rebound? Of course it was. I think it was. I mean, when he died, she literally fucking poured her heart out and was like, unless she was doing Jesus that, Christ. unless she was doing that for clout, you know, she mm-hmm. um was like the dad that was his, the love of her life, that um she adored him ever since she was with him at 19. They seemed like they loved each other a lot, you know, just from the outside looking in. But then again, I mean, how many celebrities don't make, I mean, how many of us don't make it seem on our Instagram that we are in this beautiful, you know, perfect relationship and we're really not? But... I think it was definitely a rebound, and I kind of do believe because I did find it funny that they um broke up mm-hmm. after this happened, mm-hmm. and it seemed like after this happened, I thought it was because of the attack, you know, the attack that she was getting from social media, that mm-hmm. it was all her fault, mm-hmm. and there's that in the third, and I was like, yo, if it wasn't your fault, then I wouldn't let something like that affect me, like you know what I mean? If I know the truth, do you think it was her fault? He was a, he was a, the reason they broke up because he was a good addict. That that was so that can't be her fault. She was trying. She was taking him to rehab. She was trying, bro. But from what I have read, which I mean, you know, sources are yeah, sources. Yeah, yeah. From what I have read, it it got worse when he left her. Like he was a, a how can I say a, a, a controlled hat? Like you know, controlled addict. Mm-hmm. And when it fucked, when she left, it was just like boom. So, according to the tabloids and everything, uh, Pete Davidson, uh, hit up um this dude and was just like, yo, that's it. It's over. Like. Let her go. Like, you know, let it go. Oh, I didn't hear about that. Yeah, bro. I, I came out today. The reason that, that, that the reason why wow. they broke up was because Pete Davis... Jesus, I thought that's what we was talking about. Oh, now you just, you just dropped <laughs> the a The reason bomb why me, that this was because Pete Davis's family... I mean, not Pete Davidson. Um, Mac Miller's family finally got back to Ari- Ariana Grande and showed them, yo, A, B, and C, look, look what your man was doing. Behind your back, oh, wow. and was like pretty much pressing him, like, "Yo, let it go, and they start making songs." See, about I say, it's a, I say it's secure, dude, my man. I mean, you look like Pete Davidson. I'll be insecure too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, seven, call me your seventy Lou up in this bitch today. I got time today. Two to one is I got time. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I'm about to let the. I'm about to. Whoever keeps calling you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the hammers go on them too. Let's put him on the show. <laughs> yeah, I got we, got we got things to do today. But yeah, but yeah, back to the topic, man. Um, yeah, definitely they 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 did say that. Um, um, I was reading that today that definitely the, that was one of the reasons why towards their breakup was because she did find out that uh Pete Davidson Pete Davidson was going behind her back and pretty much telling the dude to like yo fall back like you're looking like a lame right now. I'm, I can't tell you exactly what was said because uh, that didn't that, come out, know, it, but it was a big uh, reason that, why. It, 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 wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then that's that guy. What do you I think mean, about that? I, honestly, he's an insecure guy, mm. but I don't see it like being uncommon. Like if you, if 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 your girl's ex keeps fucking with her, you know, some, some guys would say they'll take it as far as going to see the dude and, and mm-hmm. pressing him on some mm-hmm. violence. Yeah. So, I, me personally, uh, you handle your ex because if I handle the ex, I'm definitely gonna be violent with it. I'm, yeah, not, yeah. I'm not gonna. Of course. Yo, bro, stop talking about. No, I'm gonna punch you. Like I'm, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna take it somewhere else. I'm so, different. so I think she would have to take care of that. Mm. So I think the fact that he called it, I think that's a little lame. Mm-hmm. But I, 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 but I'm not saying that he's wrong for it. I, I can see that happening. Funny story in high school, and this girl is still on my Facebook, so she's gonna know I'm telling the truth. <laughs> um, it was a high school, Unique Liz, okay? Oh, in high God. school, I met long, you. Long, I, met you about, I met you about seven years long, after long, that. Long, long, maybe eight. Long, long, long time ago. You know, I I I was going I, I got with this girl who who had this dude and whatever and the dude was going back and forth from us. I'm gonna fuck you up this then third. Oh, that's it. So you know what I did, right? Nah, I know. Coming. That was when sidekicks were out. You know, we just we just was in the whole. Damn, that's throwback, bro. Damn. Video became um you know video record game uh-huh. back shots. <laughs> Sent it to him. To this day, you don't know about that. I'm not gonna mention your name. <laughs> But I did it. He wasn't <laughs> lying to you. <laughs> and um, you know, that's what I, that's how I would have handled it. I would have not told the nigga nothing. Like, yo, let it go. It's a thing of the past. But at the same time, bro, that's not Pete Davis's fault neither to do that. Like, like you said, he that's his girl now. So yeah, yeah, like, I, you know, I wanna say both. I, I and especially it. if I know that my my girl at the moment felt so strongly about you, hell yeah, dude. I'm, I'm gonna say something. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, I guess you're right. I, 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 like I said, I don't think what Pete Davidson did was wrong, but, mm. you know, 
I, I don't think on top of it either, I don't think he thought the guy was going to die either. Oh, no, of course. No so, way. you know, rest in peace to Mac. You know, uh, in other relationship news, Cassidy broke up with Diddy. Oh, Diddy broke up with Cassidy. That shit is over. Um... Uh, Cassidy, a lot of things you know, came Bones off from that head. too. I, mean, I think uh, bundles of whatever, bundles of head, um, whatever her name is, mentioned about that too, about fucking Diddy. <laughs> she just, um, she's breaking up people. She, she, <laughs> she, she, men- she mentioned about that. Cass- shit, that's the, ah, I don't want to. That's the new meme, right? Cassie was getting her ass whooped by Diddy. I don't know where uh, I got this from. You know, you need, you need to be on it. You need to be on it. Again, these are all allegations. We don't know for sure. Do not say things. Expedia is not one percent factual. This is uh, all allegations. Allegedly, I, I, I could tell you something that's fact. What's fact? Diddy's gay. <laughs> well, bisexual because he has a girl and a boyfriend. Again, Yo. alleged. I don't know what. I don't know. I, I'm not. Did you sleep with him? No, but he tried to holler at me. <laughs> nah, let me stop. <laughs> He's gay, bro. You didn't see the, would, the interview. Would you with let him touch your butt for 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 a hundred thousand dollars? Just touch it. Please you figure your butt. For how much? Hundred thousand. Come on, you try butt. to switch it up on me, bro. Hundred thousand. You said please? touch it, then you said finger in the butt. Finger your butt. Hundred thousand. Hell no. Even if he uses loot. I wouldn't admit that on camera. <laughs> 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 well, yeah, bro, back to it. Um, yeah, a lot of things came out about Cassie and Diddy, man. Cassie um, supposedly shaved her head because Diddy had pulled a, f- a chunk of hair out of her head. Ah, that's it again. I mean, it's a, a bunch legend. of things. I don't know if this is true or not, so Diddy, don't be mad at us. We just, we, we, we're just repeating what people have written about you. We're not saying it's true or not. Jack is afraid he's going to get famous. Well, his arrest warrants are going to come up. <laughs> <That's what laughs> DB1, uh, this guy listen, got more DB uh, than OJ. I, I don't know what happened, man. We, this might end up in revolt one day. I don't want this guy to ever hate us. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, you're going to get your finger in your butthole for that deal. <laughs> That's what it's Again, gonna be. I would not admit that shit on camera either. <laughs> And he's got to give me 200. You know ah, what I mean? Joke going, son. Jokes. It's jokes. Jokes, jokes, jokes. 300. <laughs> Yo, um, on another note. Fuck it. I do it for clout. <laughs> <laughs> on another note, um, Floyd Mayweather. Oh. Floyd Money Mayweather is, I, I, he lost his cool points to me. So if you haven't heard, Canelo Alvarez signed a five-year, 11, 11 fight, I think for $356 million. Somewhere around that range. With yep. a company now, because I heard that Showtime and HBO, they are, will not be renewing their boxing things anymore. Again, I heard this. I don't know. It's factual. So an independent company is going to be covering boxing now. Sign them for that. Now, if you don't remember, a couple of years ago, Floyd signed a four-year, I think, a four-fight, $200 million contract with Showtime. Mm. Now, I bring this up because today... Floyd, come on, Floyd, more, more money. He came out and he said, "Oh, this fucking guy, he got this money. And he's a fucking cheater. He doesn't. I don't care if he ate a steroid steak or whatever. He's a cheater. And FYI, uh-huh. I can make three hundred million in one fight, 60, 60 minutes for me to make. And it's like, is, he's a fuck. Is that not some hating shit? Nah, that's definitely some hating shit. I think, um, I think as you get older. This is like a. This goes back to wrestlers, right? Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give you a perfect yeah, example. Guy with WWE. You know, that, you know, wrestlers never want to lose. Shawn Mike. Oh, oh, wait. Let's put this on the agenda because I, I do actually now we talk about wrestling once. Oh fucking God. bring this. More no, no. It's gonna shit, go to yeah. about. It's gonna go to about what we talking yeah, about. The agenda's being made. How many wrestlers? Like, how many wrestlers? Hold on, hold on. Answer my question first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm gonna answer okay. it. I think it goes as you. You, you never want to lose your spotlight. You know, uh-huh. Floyd Mayweather. Never felt that he lost a spotlight because he's undefeated or whatever it is. So in order to m- remain relevant, now he can't say, "Yo, you know what? I'll fight you." He can't. You can't fight. Oh, Canelo. and he Canelo said, and, was that. and he said Canelo was the easiest fight he ever had. He said Conor McGregor gave him a better fight. Uh, now the fight kind of looked easy, but I agree with you. Canelo, I think Canelo beats Canelo the shit out of many Canelo style. wasn't as uh, polished as he was. He now. was young. He was heavy. Yes. He was sluggish. He didn't uh, even look that good. Uh, I think he beats the shit out of Mayweather. He oh, right him. now, definitely. I think, but I don't know. If Floyd comes out, he keeps talking about he wants to fight. He wants to make money, fight these easy fights, and I get it. He's about he wants his to money. fight Khabib. Yeah, that's a, Khabib can't got no hands. But if he fight Canelo again, my man, like you talking all this shit, you want to make the money. You know what? The money will be Canelo. No. They'll make. 
They'll make five hundred million off of that you shit. Know who easy. I think, you know who I, I think? I'm gonna beat the shit you know out of him. You know who I think? Who I think would be made? And I'm a man with a fan, but he's a hater right now. I, I think um I think uh this dude Cotto would be. Mayweather. Nah, I'm not even saying that because I'm Puerto Rican. Nah, bro, you don't think May- Cotto now could be Mayweather now? Nah. It's not special about Cotto Mayweather anymore. Cotto fucking retired. No, but it, it, it wasn't sp- not special because he didn't train properly for Conor McGregor. He knew he was going to whip his ass. He I made, just, the, I don't, he I don't made the fight fucking entertaining. But it, but if he he told he wanted to fight Pacquiao game, nobody wants to see that bullshit. You keep talking on that mess. Now you talking about Canelo. Fight Canelo, bro. If you come out of retirement at 41 years old again and you fight Canelo, you beat Canelo, there's no argument. Your hand's down the best of him. He ain't gonna do that, bro. But he won't do it. Now that's something that I would. That, and I love, I love Floyd. And I, and when everybody came at Floyd and said, "Oh, he was ducking this person, ducking that person," I always defended him. But now with this hating ass comment, you are you, you sound like a hater, my man. Yeah, definitely not. That was a bit, I mean, I, yo, Mayweather's always been a hater, though, bro. Like with all that money, why would you hate? Yo, he's like, I mean, we go back. Let's go all the way back. He, he's a real hater. He was hating on his best friend. He was fucking his chick, his best friend's chick. Yeah. That's 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 low key hating. So, uh, cause you ain't got that bitch. All I'm saying is this: you hating on that man's money, good. He got a fucking five. He got five year eleven. He got five year eleven fight contract. Why don't you make one of those fucking fights with you? See what happens. Stop nah. all the hating shit. Nah. Let that man make his money. I think Mayweather from here on forward is only gonna fight people he knows he could beat. I mean, he, think of his last two fights. He fought Andre Berto, trash, <laughs> and then he fought McGregor, who's not a boxer. So obviously, right now, uh, Mayweather, you want to fight? Go on to UFC Octagon. He ain't doing that. He should. Let Khabib do what he did. Khabib uh, uh, put him in a pretzel in fucking yeah. less than a minute. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Yo, I want to stay on that real quick though, because I want to ask the audience something, man. For those of you who are. Uh, Watched wrestling back in the days. I no longer take part in wrestling. I really don't watch wrestling yeah. anymore. That's why I, it I, took obviously me a, I don't even. That's why we do macho and Stone Cold. Exactly. We, we like the heyday. I guess you know. How would you feel if Stone Cold was like he's gonna come out of retirement? What would you? But be bef- wait, wait, before, a lot of people came out of retirement, but they never. It wasn't publicized. It just came out. Like remember Hogan then came back at like seventy. Ric Flair then came back. So I'm 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 asking this because I was having a conversation with my man D who's uh who's been with us. He's not with us yeah, today. Yeah, I guess. Um, but he was saying that Shawn Michaels is actually coming back off of retirement. See, well, he's like in his fifties, right? No, that's not it. To anybody that is that, that does somewhat keep up, if it's for your kids or whatever, have you seen Shawn Michaels walk? Yo, I need you to um, uh, two to two, um, two what is it? two to one can will be showing the, the, the latest the latest. Yo, he can't walk. He no, he literally. I wish I could show you the way he walk. I mean, I mean, I can't. We don't got space here. Yeah. But he walks like like he can't walk. Like and he's like, gonna fight again. Like like, and he's about to fight again. He's about to fight against guess who? Somebody's gonna slam him. Randy the Undertaker. Uh, another another guy. person who is dead. It's a dead man for a reason. You're dead. Let's stop talking about wrestling. I no, mean, no, no. I'm only bringing. They're up. trying to bring the heyday back. These fucking guys. They, you know, they just just hang it up, bro. I bring that up to ask you. Is our generation the best thing ever in every uh, single topic? I was, or is it just the evolution? I'm, we're biased. I think we... That's we, what I'm saying. Are we biased? We the cream of the crop in everything. In fucking music. In R&B. What? You had, in R&B, you have people like R. Kelly. What? You have people like Usher. What? You had great groups like Jagged Edge. What? Boys to Men. What? Jodeci. What? In hip hop, you got Jay-Z. Yeah? Biggie. Oh, I hear no. Song called doesn't say that. Yeah. But yeah, I get it. Biggie. Nas. You know... Eminem, that we got, you know, everything. In, in TV, we have sitcoms. You got shows like Martin. But do we think? Do we think it's it's the best? Basketball, parents, we have Michael Jordan. Our parents would say, baseball. Their generation. Had Derek our parents Gita, say their generation was the best. Barry Bonds with the home runs. If you look at all the sports, like, nah, by far, man, our generation was the best. But is it is it is it a hormonal thing? The yeah, internet started the right way. Is it a hormonal thing? Is it, is it, is it, or we just saying that because I'm saying every young generation thinks their generation was the best. Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I, is I, it I'm product honest. or emotion? It might be a little bit of both. Huh? It might be a little bit of both. Because, because the product that we I put on. I fucked the now. bitch when I was 19. <laughs> and I fucked at 30 and the pussy wasn't as good as 19. I'm just saying. <laughs> when I was 19, I was fucking a 47 year old chick and that pussy was still off the hook. That's true. I ain't gonna lie. Doña. And she had, and she had a kid. And she, her Doña. kid was eight. Her kid was seventeen, almost my age. Don't y'all pussy's not that bad. So I, I, I can't co-sign that. That just goes. That but just you know, goes. you could get it. I ain't gonna front though. Uh, I don't ever remember anybody when I was sixteen to like twenty pussy being whack. 
my it was like they they were just super wet all the time. Sixteen to twenty. Like 16, 16 to twenty, I don't. I think I got my. Yeah, I think the only. I think I got my first whack pussy like after I was twenty one. Well, I, I when I realized that oh shit, there is whack pussy out there. That's true. Where you gotta like constantly be spitting on your cock, or you gotta be fucking with them to constantly get. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Lube. Yeah, yeah. Where has this? I mean, I don't know where this took yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, but we're gonna get back on track. All right, let, let, we're gonna close the show out. I have this last topic. We're gonna get a little serious. Yes, here. yes, yes. Uh, oh wait, can't, before you. Yeah, go, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I would like to talk about um. Selfie Patty before we Oh go. my god. No. <laughs> wait, wait. Selfie Sally. Let's name her that. Selfie Sally. We don't usually make fun of deaths on the two to one show, but no, if no, no, you no. made a loxident <laughs> like you did, uh, that if you made for those of you who don't know, look up L O C C I D E N T and you see what we mean by that. <laughs> we show? are gonna play you a clip on um Josh made this up right here, two to one TV. Oh man. Um, right, wait, do I have it here? Oh my god, that was man, it's fucked up. Oh, right there, right there. Selfie Sally, right there. Selfie Sally. That's how right there, no? Oh yeah, yeah. Selfie All right. Sally. Alright, so a woman by the name of Sandra, she has like a hundred billion names, we'll just say Sandra Mercedes Mesedo. She is a teacher out of Portugal who just moved to Panama. Mm-hmm. And she decided that she wanted to take a selfie on her new condominium that was twenty five floors, twenty five stories in the air. And amongst Taking that selfie, she uh, splat. She killed herself. So, women, everybody, but especially women, listen, man, the selfie's not worth your life. She was. Um, they found. And they found. <laughs> the video was still going live. Nah, I'm just playing. I don't know about all that, but they. they <laughs> witnesses said that when she fell on the floor. They found her with the selfie stick in her hand. Talk about being committed. Self, <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't take selfies <laughs> when you just finished buying a condo. Black. And we don't like You're making fun born. of situations like that. But sorry, we will yeah, make fun of you. you. Let me Listen, tell you something. Rest sorry. in peace. God bless you. You know, hopefully you end up in the right place. You know, we live very high. Now. We live very high because we're in the projects, right? If I ever take a picture on the roof of my building, bro, and I sit on the fall floor. off the you fucking deserve. building, you make sure you make the next two to one episode and my funeral roast to me. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, bro. Because I smoke butt and I wouldn't even what do something like that. What's your name? Huh? Selfie Sally? Selfie Sally. <laughs> Selfie well, her Sandy. name is Sandra. Selfie Sandy. Selfie, Selfie Sandy. Sandy. There we go. Rest in peace, Selfie Sandy. Please. Rest in two peace. Two to one is... Don't become a selfie, Sandy. Please don't. Please don't. But now we can get back. Now we can get, uh, now now we can get, get into all the, the serious shit. Out. All right. So um, I have this question. It's been bothering me. So we live in a society where uh, the law says you're innocent until proven guilty. Mm. Now, I'm sorry. I know I'm going to probably offend a lot of people. But it's just been bugging me that with the Me Too movement... Women are accusing men mm-hmm. of rape or inappropriate behavior, and the man is automatically found guilty, and his life is being turned upside down. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm going to bring up a couple of topics, a couple of things. Recently, there was a woman from, I'll, I'll bring it up right now. I have it saved somewhere. There was a woman by the name, we have brought this up a couple of episodes ago. Her name is Nikki Yovino, okay? Mm. Now, Nikki was uh, she, she was in the college called Sacred Heart University. Mm-hmm. She was dating this guy. And Nikki decided to accuse two males of raping her. And the males were immediately taken out to school. And it was later found out that uh, Nikki was lying. And she was lying because her new boyfriend found out and she didn't want to look like a whore. Now, Nikki is currently doing a year in jail in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Now, during her her trial, she was seen rolling her eyes like if she didn't care. Mm -hmm. But these guys' lives are ruined, of which one of them did not have a scholarship. Uh Now, I tried to follow up on it to see if the guy was still in school, if they accepted him back. I don't know. But that guy's life is, I don't know if it's over, but it's it's severely tarnished. Mm. Um, this innocence of proven guilty thing, is, I bring it up because recently Kobe Bryant was supposed to be on this committee for animation uh-huh. and they came up with uh, 
they came up with a petition to get him kicked off the committee mm -hmm. because they claimed that his rape case, which I must say was dismissed back in 2004, I mean, sorry, 2003, mm -hmm. where he allegedly raped a young lady that worked in a hotel. The lady refused to uh, testify, and the judge threw it out. Mm -hmm. So he wasn't found guilty. So this is 2003. We're in 2018, people. 15 years later, and they put up a petition to have him kicked off this committee, which he was kicked off. Uh -huh. But he was never found guilty. So my question for you is, what society do we live in now where you're guilty even if you're not found guilty? Is, are we still live by those guidelines, innocent to prove it guilty? Or is it now guilty to prove it innocent? No, we do not. And at no time do we live in a. I think that's. At no time will you believe now, because even before. No, no. Only if you're rich, you're 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 you're, you're innocent until proven guilty. But but Kobe's rich. Okay. And he's still feeling the backlash. You just you asked innocent until proven guilty, which is the beginning of everything, right? Yeah, he's feeling the backlash later on in life. Right? Fifteen years later. Yes, absolutely. Fifteen years later. Now let me tell you something though. How can I explain this? There's a, there's a real trick. There's a tricky question. But I don't think that 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 that's saying because that's what it is. It's not a rule. It's not a law. That get, I don't think that's ever been in place. I'll tell you why. If you don't have bail money, you yeah. don't have a thousand dollars. Okay. Most of the people that are here in this community where we at. Oh, I'm not gonna say it. So gonna, <laughs> uh, we had a conversation about this. But if you live in the urban community, if you live in a impoverished community, okay, you live you in a impoverished community. You don't have money, bro. You're guilty until proven innocent. No, no, I, I get that. And okay. I, I, I get that. But so you're saying now, I'm, if I'm, I'm not convicted of... No, 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 I'm, I'm, talking of about, I'm talking about when something hits the media. Okay, Because there's people, out there, there's people out there that uh, that have been charged with rape charges that have beaten it hmm. that you'll never know about unless you go onto a website that your name is on. Yeah. But I'm talking about once it hits the media. Uh -huh. I mean, it was big enough that it hit the media uh -huh. that you're, if your case is dismissed uh -huh. or you're just... Or, or, or there's not enough evidence and it gets kicked out but you weren't found guilty. Mm. Should you still be given that backlash of someone who was found guilty? Yes or no? I'll tell you why. Should OJ be given the backlash that he gets? He was found innocent. Wait, but OJ, I'm sorry. OJ's considered a hero to a lot of people. Kobe's considered a hero to a lot of people. No, no, but Kobe's considered a hero based on his accolades on the basketball court. Okay. OJ's considered a hero based on his win during that case. Okay. Like if you watch the the, the, the story of OJ, uh -huh, uh -huh. or if you read about it, uh -huh. it, it almost became a black and white thing. Mm -hmm. And at the time, the system was oh, a little different. It, 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 yeah. it is. So a lot of people consider that. Uh, a lot of people feel that he was guilty, even though he was found not guilty. Mm. But they uh, they find him to be like almost a hero based on that. I think so I think, that's, I think that's a bad analogy. You think your I think your question your question is, and we were speaking about this earlier. It goes back to the Michael Vick thing, right? Oh, so they, so my second part of the okay. question can, is... Can, continue, because so that, that's what my answer is going to so come. So if you are guilty, so on the flip side, if you are found guilty, are you ever forgiven? No. Now, that, that's how, so that means... And we live in I a think system. sentences and, and, and judicial... Ju, ju, I don't know if I'm using judicial the word right. Word. Judicial, whatever. Judicial. And everything is just society's way of handling your thing. But... God forbid, no, it happens. All right, let's just say you have a dog. Somebody kills your dog, he does five years. I was, I was going to say something. Uh -huh. Let's say somebody kills your dog, he does five years. We used, okay, he did five years. I'm not mad at him no more. No. But the thing is that, all right, so... You I, did I, the crime. I, I, no, I know you he, paid for the crime, uh -huh. but you still did the crime. But the thing It's is, up to somebody else. Yeah, but uh, you know what? I, bro, if, if, if I do something and I spend 25 years in jail, mm. let's say I, I kill somebody. Mm -hmm. Let's say I kill somebody, I was a drug dealer. And I went out and I shot somebody for money and I killed somebody's kid. Mm. I accidentally shoot a kid, right? Mm -hmm. And I gotta live with that shit for 25 years. Okay. And I come out of the jail, right? Uh-huh. And, and I'm no longer that person. I'm really okay. rehabilitated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I shouldn't be forgiven. I'm not saying forgiven by the victim family. You're being I'm talking about forgiven by society. By because so it's... Because you paid your dues. Correct. And it's almost like... No, because some people in society think you should... Some people in society probably think that you should have never came out of jail. But, but but that's what I'm saying. Then why the fuck... So then we should kill people then. You know what I did? This just fucking kill me if you're not if you're going to ruin the rest of my life. You know, it's like with the... Um, and, and, I, and I don't mean to bring domestic violence up because it's a terrible to topic and it's very sensitive. Mm -hmm. And no matter what you say, you're always on the, on the short end of the stick. But Ray Rice. Ray Rice did a horrific act and he hit his wife on the elevator, right? That was fucking horrific. That was a horrific act, uh -huh. what he did. 
That was his fiance at the time. She marries him, they're still together to this day. Ray Rice is ruined in everything he ever does. I think with the Ray Rice incident, I think everybody looked at it and well, if she forgave them, then maybe we should forgive no, them. No, no, no. That's how you look at it. But the, the but the activists and the women's rights group, they don't think it can be like that. There was a, a woman on ESPN, Michelle Beto, I believe she her name was. Mm. And she had went to, uh, to domestic violence. And I and I'm I'm sorry for anything you ever went through. You know, I, who am I to talk about it? You went mm. through it and I and I I'm I'm sorry for what happened to you. Uh-huh. But she went after Ray Rice. She went after you. Know, you don't know what it's to be like that, and she gets into it. Yeah, yeah. Won't forgive. I cannot get past. Uh, but I'm also aware of what sports are. And at the end of the day, you know, if that guy is going to make me win or give me a better shot, we have an amazing ability as humans to just look past some pretty awful things these guys are capable of doing. So if it were up to you, Ray Rice would never play another down of football No, I, I wouldn't let him. Um, and, you know, everyone, oh, what about second chances? You know, last time I checked, a second chance is, you know, living your life and not being in prison. You can get a job. You can get a million jobs. You just can't have that job. And it's the one thing I've argued with people the most. I, I have been very vocal in my disdain for Michael Vick. What he did to me as a dog person, I'll never, I won't even come close to thinking about forgiving or forgetting anything that he Spent, did. Spent, what, two years in prison? Yeah, and people are like, oh, he did his time. That's fine. And for you, that was good enough, and we can all move on. I never will. Um, he was allowed a second chance, but he didn't have to be given a second chance to make millions of dollars and play professional sports. He could have gotten a regular job, like 99% of the population. So second chances, to me, I think, have a different meaning than the people I argue with <laughs> most of the time. I, to me, not being in prison is a second chance. And I get it. That's, we don't condone that shit. That shit is not cool. But if his wife is forgiving him, who's the who's the victim? Uh -huh. She's the victim. She's forgiving him. Why the world can't? And, 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 I think it's a, that's a. I, I don't think we. Can, slope, I don't think we can terrible. answer. I don't think we can answer for society because that's we can answer individually because society is such a big hole. I, so it, like it's gonna be if you ask this to a hundred people, you're probably gonna get a hundred different listen, answers. You know what I mean? I feel like this. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we can, we can end the topic like this and okay. end the show like this. Mm. I feel like this, and I will look at the camera when I say this. When something is of ultimate value, or the decision is gonna always go a certain way, you're gonna get people that are gonna use that to their advantage. Uh -huh. So if we don't build a system that is fair, that is even, people will use that to their benefit. I e if I know that every time I, every time this is brought up, uh, 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 if, like even with the Me Too, I hate talking about it, but every time someone says, this person raped me, automatically that person is guilty, there's going to be people out there that are going to say, you know what, I can use that for my advantage, and I can ruin this person. And unfortunately, there are people like that in this world, where they say, you know what, I hate this person so much, I'm going to fucking ruin their life. That's true. Doesn't make it right. I mean, it makes it wrong completely. But that, so that's why I mean by that. It doesn't make it appropriate for you to automatically say someone's guilty until they prove it that way. Everybody has their own opinion on, on what's right and what's wrong. Mm -hmm. But when, that's the reason why we have a judicial system, and that's the reason our courts are set up the way they are. So I think that we should definitely re talk or, re, or reinvent what's going on mm -hmm. again. But I'm a male speaking about something that the women are going through. So I'm going to always be in the wrong and the minority of it. And I wish we could get a woman here to actually talk with us. Maybe we, we will, will. We will. We will. So they can get their take on it. Again, I'm not trying to be insensitive to anybody that has went through any kind of rape situation or any kind of uh, Me Too situation. But I'm just speaking objectively. So please I don't think we're not, we're not. We're not criticizing the, the woman who have been through that. Because obviously the statistics show yeah. that there's a lot of women who have. And, and, and we're and there's talking a lot of about the women who are taking fucking, advantage yeah. There's a lot of, of assholes who do it. There's a lot of assholes who do it too yep. and deserve all the backlash that they get. Just not everyone. Uh, and on that note... With that being said... Episode 19, what do you uh, think? Episode 19 was very good. Very good. Um, we learned a lot of things. You guys learned a lot of things about the two-to-one show. You learned about things that we would do for a Revolt TV deal. <laughs> um, you know? <laughs> we learned about Pillow Talk and uh, what best I did for revenge in high school. So um, we hope you enjoyed it, guys. Like we said, episode 18 is coming out probably soon, hopefully soon. Um, if not, we're going to try to release it without the video. Probably 19 will be out before it. We we all gonna stop, um, you know. We all gonna stop, um, you know, putting music on the show and everything just to stop the hoopla. I'm your boy, Best Stop Luke. To my left, Jack N. To my right, will be somebody soon. Thank you for watching. Make sure you go to our YouTube, hit the notification bell, and follow at two two one underscore show episode nineteen, bitches. Peace.